Hi everyone, I'm Ro, and today I'm going to show you how to rig, skin, and post a character in Masterpiece Motion. So here I have a humanoid character that I'm going to use for this project. The first thing that I like to do is grab the root bone and set it to the center of the model. I can actually just grab this bone and put it downwards right here. The only problem with that is that this bone is loosely aligned, and I want it to align perfectly to the center of my character. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to go here and click snap an axis on the X. And I'm going to get a plane here, a red plane. This plane is going to help me align this bone correctly to where I want it. And it's going to be right there. Okay. And now what I'll continue doing is I'll stretch out bones from the root bone outwards to create the rest of the skin. First, we start with the spine. I like to give it three bones as a minimum, so I have some movement on the torso. Third bone will always reach towards the clavicle area. Then afterwards, I just stretch that for the neck and stretch one more for the head. Now that I got this, I'm gonna also give the eyes some motion. So the best thing that I could do right now to give these eyes some motion is I'm gonna add a bone right in the middle of the of the orb towards the pupil. And now, as you can see here, it's showing that the bone is parented to the root bone. And I don't want that. I want this bone to be parented to the head. In order for me to repant this to the head, I have to, with my controller, just hover on the bone and press down on the thumbstick, and then move all the way to the bone that I want to parent to and release the thumbstick. And it's now parented to the head bone. I have to make sure that this is right at the center of the sphere. It's a little bit complicated because the object is right inside the character, but it's more or less over there, so that's good. All right, moving on, I'm going to create the shoulder. It's going to stretch from the neck here to the shoulder area here, and then I'm going to do the remaining of hand. So the arm towards the elbow around this area towards the wrist and the wrist stretches to the palm now that I have the palm here I'm going to do each finger individually so I usually like to give three bones to each finger so let's start by doing that do the thumb like this and here we're having the same issue as we had with the eyes so we're going to do the same thing thumb stick down drag towards the bone, and now it's parented. I'm going to do that with the remaining fingers. If you see at some point that you're drawing bones, and this bone seems like it's disconnected from those other bones, the easiest way to reconnect these bones is by going to the joint, and grabbing that joint, and dragging it towards the joint you want to connect to. Let go, and now that joint it's going to be connected. And the last finger. And the same thing. Parenting. Parenting. And there we go. It's parenting. See, this joint is not connected. I just grab that joint, drag it towards the joint I want to connect to, and let go. Now everything should be connected. Might be a little bit misaligned, but that's no problem. Just select the move rig. Then you can move entire sections of bones by just going towards the, the section that controls the rest of the bones and grabbing that bone with the trigger and realigning it.
So that's for that arm. I'm going to do the, <coughs> the leg. Go back to the draw rig and draw the upper part of the leg towards the knee. Then from the knee, that one's to the foot. And then from the foot to the toes. And that's on the ankle, to the toes, to the knee, to the hip. Okay, so as you can see now, we have our character rigged on one side. The great thing about Masterpiece Motion is that you only have to worry about one side because the other side can be uh, added automatically for you. <clears throat> so here's an example. I'm just gonna start up here so I don't forget. And I'm gonna copy this bone onto this side. The way to do this is I select the mirror hierarchy and then click on the bone that, that you want to copy to the other side and click. And it's gonna create a, a mirror copy that's gonna be parented to the same bone that that bone is parented to. Moving on, I will do that to the shoulder and to the leg. And now my whole character is rigged. Now that we finished rigging the character, we're gonna continue on to skinning the character. This part is a little bit trickier because what skinning means that we're gonna give each bone a value to control the mesh or the mesh area where that bone is located. So this character is a bit high poly, which is good because I, I want to give it proper animation. So in order for me to start uh, skinning, I could go through two different processes. Masterpiece Motion will allow you to do the auto skin, which is going to create a skinning according to all the, all the bones and its nearby neighbors. It's very accurate, but it, it, al it always gives you some results that you, you might need to tweak here and there, but it's it, it cuts the process in half. So what I'm going to do, I, I usually like to start with artist skin, so I'll select artist skin. And you can select the different quality uh, of your of your skinning. So in this case, this character is a bit complex, but I want it to be very precise. I'm going to go and take it from medium to high. This process takes a little bit of time because it's a lot of calculations happening in the background. So you just need to be patient. But as soon as it's done, you're going to have great results. Okay, now that the skinning has finished, you can see on each bone by selecting how it is skinned. Now, like I said, the process is not it's not as accurate, but it gives you pretty decent results. For example, in the eyes, I'm, I'm betting that the eyes fall here. This is one thing that you will have to correct manually, but that's okay. At least it, get, it made half the, the process. So I'll just undo that. And I'm gonna start with the head bone. And what I do usually is I, adjust the strings to around 50% so that I apply it by, by strength. So 50%, just a little bit of strength there, start painting around. Making sure I get every part of my character like this. And it's okay if you do it pretty fast. Afterwards, we're gonna use the smoothing tool that will give you more organic and precise results. So that's for the head. Now, I'm gonna do the neck. Just give the neck some strength here. And as you, can, as you can see, the rest of the head is also being affected by the neck, which can be okay. You can leave it like this. But it's usually better if 
you remove a little bit of, of it so that it's not entirely affected, it's just affecting the area you want that bone to affect. So in my case, I don't want the neck bone to affect most of the head. I just want it to affect the neck part of the character. So I can just use the subtract and with the same 50%, I can remove a little bit of that. There we go. So the neck works individually and the rest of the body. Let's go now to the shoulder and it's gonna be the same thing. Add and give it a little bit of stretchiness there. Now select the arms. Can adjust the strength. And the fall the fall off will help you set the maximum strength areas and the areas that you want a gradient, which is gonna be by the borders. In this case, it's really useful. So grab that bone. I'm giving it the proper gradient. Okay, so like that bone, just a little bit so that it covers the whole bone and just press once and paint it around. Okay, just a little bit more. There we go. That bone is now affecting that area. We'll continue on to the rest of the body. Here I'm subtracting to making sure that it only affects the bone that I have selected, not the rest of the area. Just look in that one, at least a little bit around it. You can still leave it like that. Or remove this as well. Uh, select the area that I want to affect. There we go. And this is okay like that. So I want to do the spine area. It's a bit more precise in that sense. I'm covering this part. Maybe I did too much over here. Can I move a little bit? Add more. There you go. Covering the front and the back. Make sure that everything's precise in that sense. So, so now I have the eyes, the eye bones here, and I don't want the eyes to affect the rest of the body. So I'm just going to subtract that 100% on this skin as such. And same for the other bone. Selecting that bone, deleting everything that's being affected by that bone. Just want those bones to affect the eyes. So I'm going to select an eye mesh. So you can see here this is affecting this part of the eye, which I also don't want to affect. So I'll just remove that, and that part. And the same here, just gonna remove that, and that part. Now going deep into the eyes, that's correct. It's affecting that eye, and it's affecting that eye. So it's all good. Okay, now I'm just gonna use the smoothing tool and the smoothing iterations 
I'll bring it up to around five because I want it to be very smooth and not, it's not and it doesn't so it doesn't spread out on the rest of the mesh. So if you grab here, select the smooth, then just with your brush, just stroke here. So you can see it starts to smooth out the areas that are being affected by that bone. Select the next bone, do the same thing. It gets yeah. Check the previous, the next, got that one. Do a smoothing. So it's more organic on the movement. The wrist, do some smoothing. Use the hands. So it's very smooth. And then each finger, grab that finger, do a smooth. Select that finger, do a smooth. Select that finger, do a smooth. So you can go and check that all parts are being affected. There's an arm, there's that, there's that, right? And there's the neck. So those parts I need to also skin. So when I do that, so that the bone that are, that's going to affect them. To add at 100%, just pin them out like that. And there we go. Now it follows the head. So, same thing for that. There we go. Our character is fully skinned. In order to go to the posing mode, we go go here to animate. As you can see, now we have the whole character here ready to animate. In this case, I'm going to do a pose by pose. So the first pose that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this character look as if he's being sneaky. So in order to pose here, what you can do is grab bones and start manipulating uh, each bone individually like this. Right. So in my case. Just gonna move this a little bit forward. Move the knee like that. Maybe make the character rotate it a little bit. And now, sneaky position would be, you know, put it forward like this. We can also rotate that. Rotate the neck a little bit. And then make sure that the eyes are looking backwards so that it looks as though he's trying to sneak around. Yeah, just adjusting this like that. Just like that, you can create different poses. Bring this rigged character to your own uh, productions.